Hello everyone, my name is Candy Whitley White and welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first video for a uh, YouTube um, channel um, and I want to introduce myself as, hmm, how can I put this, as a designer. Um, some may call this channel, well, let's just set the record straight. I don't want anyone to get it confused. This is not a craft channel. I, I don't like the word craft. Just want to make it clear. Not that I have a problem with crafts, but I really don't see myself as a um, someone who um, participates in crafting or uh, does crafts. I see myself more or less as a person who likes to um, find things and recreate things on a budget. So the the word crafts um, kind of wrote to me the wrong way. So, but if you like the word crafts, fine. I'm just not too fond of that word. So just so you know, this is not a craft channel. So if you like that word, you can use it, but I'm not necessarily a crafter. I like to recreate. So that is what I will be doing on this channel. And hopefully I can help you recreate some things with stuff that's <clears throat> at your house or maybe just things that is a little inexpensive. Um, I like to, like if you had something that you use in one season and you kind of pushed it off to the back of the closet and you want to use it again for something else and you want to pull it out and reassign it to some other um, event, activity, or something like that. That's what I want to do. We can repurpose, repurpose, not grab. So, what I'd like to do today is show you how I created some table arrangements for my 25th wedding anniversary. So this was something that had to be done in secret because my husband didn't know anything about it. So everything had to be done sort of in a secret way. Um, I had to be very <laughs> crafty. I hate that word, I have to use crafty. Okay, so just let it be known that, okay, I use the word crafty, I just don't wanna be classified as crafty, okay? Just saying. So, I had to be crafty to pull this off. But, anyway, um, had to be crafty to pull this off. Now I'm gonna have a hard time using this word because I don't want to be described as crafty. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on. So, but the big part of this whole thing is repurposing. And that's going to be the, the biggest, um, I guess, direction I'd like to uh, move this channel in is repurposing things. So, let's... Let's take that direction. So, do you remember back in probably the early 2000s when everyone had these um, bottles with, um, they had like vinegar and uh, red peppers and uh, green peppers and olives and all that kind of stuff and people would have them sitting on their counters and they would line the counters with um, different bottles with with that in it so 
I had a ton of these bottles with, um, and they always were, I mean, you know, really nice shaped bottles like this. For instance, these were all bottles like that. I wish I had pictures of what or how they looked before. But these bottles had um, red, green peppers and vinegar, right? And listen, I've had these bottles since the early 2000s, right? And I literally had not had these out on my counters for, I know, 15 years. But they have literally traveled all the way from Portland to Oklahoma. They sat in my pod and, you know, I can't talk about that. But they were in my pod. They traveled from Portland to Oklahoma. And I'm trying to think, did I ever display them since I've been in Oklahoma? I don't even think they've ever been displayed in my kitchen. But anyway, they've been in my pantry. And they, they're they sealed really well, right? So they're really, I don't think people even use them for like food purposes. But anyway, they're just like a design. So they've been sitting in my pantry for the longest. But for this um, anniversary, I was thinking about how I could use these bottles because they're, they're really shaped nicely. I mean, look at these bottles, really cute. All these nice shapes how I could repurpose these bottles um, because not only do I want to have something nice, I don't want to spend a lot of money. So I was looking around my house. I was trying to figure out what I can repurpose. So I looked up in the pantry and I'm like, I could do something with these bottles. So I thought, oh, this will be easy. All I got to do is get rid of those peppers and the vinegar. But I was like freaking out about opening them up because I didn't know what the heck they were gonna smell like. I was like, what are they gonna smell like when I open them? I mean, they've been there for like 20 years. So I, I'm like, God, when I open these bottles, it's gonna really stink. So I'm praying like, okay, when I open these bottles, it's gonna be like, scary so I opened the bottles thinking I don't know what's what's gonna happen open them up and it was no big deal it smelled like vinegar so that was that was the least of my worries didn't smell like nothing much but vinegar the biggest issue with opening these bottles was getting those peppers to come out of these little Come out of there. It took me forever. I, I, that was so annoying. So anyway, out of this little skinny, I can't even stick my finger all the way through there. But anyway, so I had to get all the, the gunk out. They had olives, peppers, and everything to get out of these bottles. So that's what I had to do. That was the problem. So once I got the peppers out, it was all right. So I also had another bottle and my husband was supposed to pull up. He said he came home. He had no idea what I was doing, by the way. I was just like, oh, you know, he's, you know, he's all, he's really not that into what I'm doing. You know, he had no idea I was getting this ready for this, um, our 25th wedding anniversary. It was a surprise for him, but, um, I'm telling him, oh, I'm coming up with a new design idea. You know, he was just like, oh, whatever. He don't care. But I said, I have this last bottle. It's annoying me. Could you get these olives out? He's like, oh, yeah, I'll just dry it out. And he had a plan to do it. You know, that bottle sat on the counter for three weeks. And by the way, he never <laughs> got the olives out. <laughs> so I just threw the bottle away because... Um, the event is over and we never used that bottle. So anyway, so we never used it. So I was left with these bottles and this was like the kind of my, the beginning of 
the idea for my uh, table centerpieces. These bottles coupled with some other uh, design elements that I had um, in my attic. So this is what we began with, the bottles and some more bottles that we got from the Dollar Tree. One dollar. And of course, the Dollar Tree, everything is a dollar. And I don't know what they're talking about. The Dollar Tree is going to be going up to a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty. Why? I mean, a dollar. Come on, guys. I mean, we need it to stay a dollar. <laughs> you could get so much. I mean, at this point, I've spent like um, I think I had to purchase about five or six of these to complete um, the design because the for the anniversary um ceremony we were gonna it's outdoors um and i think i needed about seven to eight tables and the tables were spools large spools and i'll show you what the whole design concept looked like at the end but i think we were gonna have like seven or eight large spools um, for this boho chic theme um idea so um i needed to have about six more bottles to complete the look so that's why we got these um okay now to complete this i also needed some other things to add to our vinegar bottles our Dollar Tree bottles and we added a nice silver face to the look because the 25th wedding anniversary is silver so we added a silver vase to the look now the silver vase comes in because I happen to have several of these silver vases in various shapes and styles that I once used in my dining room from a, a previous uh, style that I had um, a few years ago. So I have this one. Um, I have this look. Kind of like a goblet. And this look, which this is just clear, actually, just a clear glass. I have another one that's in the garage, but this just gives you an idea of what the different looks of the vases were for the tables. Okay. So, again, the look was a boho chic um, theme. So we wanted the, the look to be pretty simple, but again, we wanted to stay um, inexpensive and go with things that were around the house as much as possible. So at this point, we've only spent money on the Dollar Tree bottles. And like I said, I only bought six of these. So, and I, I, I understand Everybody may not have these kind of vases just sitting around, but if you do, this is how you can repurpose them. So that's the whole idea. If you have something like this, again, I had to wash them out. They don't look as clean. I don't know. It's a whole backstory as to why these don't look as clean as they did, but I'd have to go way into it with you guys. And yeah do you do you really want to know why so <laughs> for the anniversary my husband and i left and we came back so i had friends kind of do the whole design i mean do the whole setup and when we came back there to the ceremony it was pretty windy that day. So my friends and family that had to set up everything, the bottles and stuff was kind of flying away off the tables. 
they had to imp improvise and put like sand and everything in the bottles to keep them from flying off the table. So they kind of got dirty and that's how they kind of scratched up the inside of the bottles. But anyway, so that's all another story. Anyway, we're going to get back to the story so we don't prolong this any further. To make the boho chic look, we got some dry pompous grass from Amazon. Now you can get this pretty inexpensive. The dry pompous grass is this stuff here. So from Amazon, I got like a bunch of this and it comes in a bunch of like 50. Like you can get a whole big uh, it's not like big, but they're they're pretty. Actually, they're pretty short. Actually, I think it's like 17 inches. So dry pumpus grass. Um, that's what this is called. I had no idea that's what it's called. So dry pumpus grass um, in a bu bunch of 50. And I got and it, again, this was um, 15 dollars. I think 15. And then I got um, these little bunny tails. I think this is like 12 bucks. And came in a bunch of about, how many did I get? Um, it was probably about 20, 25 of these, something like that. It was a nice, I didn't need that many, but it was a good, a good portion to do what I needed to do. Um, I never knew that these were called bunny tails. Growing up, my grandmother would get these. They were called, we called them pussy willows. I didn't, and they were much bigger. I never seen them this small. Um, and then I got these. Uh, this is, this is broke, but anyway. This came um, as well as dried pumpus grass. Um, from Amazon. This was twelve dollars as well, I think. And I can put in the um, chat where where I got it from. So those were the three things I got. So that was kind of like a total of um, about forty-five dollars, I think, maybe something like that. And then I also got just probably about seven stems of this eucalyptus. Um, greenery from Hobby Lobby, and these were on sale like half price. I think a dollar ninety nine, a dollar forty nine. So these are really inexpensive. Okay. So now we're gonna build our arrangements. And what I did, I took the tall one, each tall bottle. Oh, just one quick thing. I just happened to be at Burlington Coat Factory, and you know how they have their home section. And I found a big bunch of wicker. This was just, I wasn't expecting to buy this, but I did. I ran across um, a bunch of wicker, and they had like, and I separated this. So um, it had just several pieces. This is a bit. Some of these are already bunched together. It had like, see, you see this little ball in here, little wicker ball. Some have all already been attached. It had this in here. And these had some of the longer pieces. It was in a big bunch, but I separated them. So it had some of the longer pieces in there. This came from Burlington Coat Factory. It was like $6.99. So it was like my filler um, wicker, which was great because with the dry pumpus grass, since their stems were kind of short, whenever you put it inside these bottles, it'll swallow it up like that. And you don't want them to go in like that. You want the stem to come out around that neck part. So you need something tall to attach it to. So what I did, I would attach it 
like up here. So you find a, a taller stem like this one, for example. Stick it in there and see how it um, falls all the way down to the bottom. You find it pompous grass and you measure it right there at the top like that. And you find your other pieces that you want to put in and how you want them to sort of stick out. So, you see how that kind of sticks out like that? Then you just kind of just build it up how you want it to look. See? And you don't have to put a ton of things in here, right? Not a ton of things. You just want it to look kind of like this. Just a little bit of um, kind of alternating um, height, right? Like that. And then you just get a piece of tape, just a small piece of tape, and just wrap it around here like this. And this is a very clear tape, so you can't even see it. And you just sit it in there like that. So you can't even see the tape on there, right? See how really cute? Okay. So I did that with the tall bottles. With the short little Dollar Tree bottles, I used the greenery in there. And we have the same issue with the greenery because it's a little short too. It can't fall all the way in. I mean, it'll go kind of like that. So I use the pumpkin grass. But I also needed a tall piece to give it a little bit of height. Unfortunately, this one is. It's a little bit cracked here, so I just need to tape this. Hopefully this will stand up. Because this is tall enough to stand all the way, okay? And we'll just attach it to here like this. But it just needs something to hold on to. So you're probably wondering, okay, what was going on with these <laughs> silver bosses, bosses, vases? Well, we had, since this was an outdoor event, event and it was at night, we had these handy dandy little lights. So in the vases, we put the lights in there. So each table had a light fixture. Not only did each fixture have a light, we had a picture that we would put that we put on each table. Let me just tell you about these pictures. So again, at the Dollar Tree, very good deals. I wanted the boho sheet thing to be, again, inexpensive. So you can get, I got a ton of picture frames, and like I said, a dollar a piece. And I got the kind of distressed wood look. These were white distressed wood. I had some uh, white and silver um, colors. I got um, um, 
I got some silver, obviously for the silver uh, wedding anniversary. This is, I mean, these were a dollar. I mean, um, silver. And I just printed black and white pictures from um, my printer. Just black and white because, I mean, it's 25 years, so it's my cousin. She's like 27 now. She looks like a woman. <laughs> but, um, printed these from my computer, 5x7, I mean black and white, and just printed them off. And all I had to do was um, cut them out and stick them in these little cheap frames. And it looked really nice next to the silver and um, the boho chic look, right? So again, everything was super inexpensive. Um, and even if someone wanted these, like a, my best friend, she, I, there were some pictures that she hadn't even seen after the wedding uh, 25 years ago. She asked if she could have it. She's like, oh my God, could I have one of these? I mean, the picture frame that she, I was like, yeah, I mean, it was from the, not that it, if it was more expensive, I wouldn't have given it to her, but yeah, of course you could have it. But um, now I have all these picture frames, but they're just little, um, they were great for the table and the whole look. So, this is something that you can create um, easily um, for an inexpensive um, event or just a just to change up a look in your house with these little boho chic uh, pompous grass uh, arrangements. It's something that you could do so easily. It's not um, super expensive. Um, if you want to recreate um, or repurpose something that you've had and you just want to use something that you've put away. That's why I say you may not be using it for something right now, but you could use it for something else. Like I, I love these um, when I first moved into my house. And not that I just don't love them anymore, but I know that um, I could use them for something else. Um, so I kept them and they're just in my attic and I'm so glad that I did and I'm able to use it for something else. So in these bottles, I know I'll probably be using them again. So, and these are super cute, super inexpensive. You can probably even give them away for a little gift. You just, you just never know. So that's how you can recreate a, um, vinegar <laughs> and pepper bottle just wash it out and don't be scared to let the vinegar out and you can use these different bottles for something else um, for an event or just to do something different in your house i hope you enjoyed this repurposed and not a craft but a repurposed design thank you for watching <laughs>